I want to talk a little bit exclusively about the uh, lubrication in the uh, constant velocity joint housings now. At one time we used to use EP90. Now this is, was common with the axles um, completely right across the, uh, well, most vehicles to be honest with you. Nowadays what we're using is one shot grease in the constant velocity joint housing. And this is the housing here, this is what we're talking about. Um, things have changed just a little bit. Now to recognise whether it would have had EP90 oil in it to start with, if you're looking at the axle um, casing itself, on the housing here we have three bung plugs, which uh, one is to fill, the other one you take out when you're filling so you know when the EP oil comes out that, that you're at the right level, and you have a drain, which is shown here I'm pointing to. Later on in development, what Land Rover obviously have done, have taken out the two plugs and just left you with the filler. So this is where the one shot grease goes into. What's happened here with the hubs, at one time the wheel bearings used to be oil fed and they would go down the stub axle into the wheel bearings itself and lubricate them. Now there's a seal there and the wheel bearings are greased. Well you know that because you've done your wheel bearings now haven't you? So basically this is how you recognise between the, the two axles and why sometimes you don't find a drain plug. What we're doing now is just fitting one shot grease and this stops a lot of hassles. How you know, and this is another point, that the seal between the housing and the axle is actually leaking, you will go to your diff and check the levels and the levels will be higher. This means that the EP oil, if that's what you had in there, would have drained through so it will actually fill the axle up because the level of the swivel housing is actually higher than the differential level itself. So this is one way you'll know. Okay, that's it from me. Have some fun.